best place to find a lover so the bar is where I go me and my friends at the table doing we shot drinking fast then we talk slow so we done at Ikea we finally bought uh, one of the last pieces for Asha's bedroom the wardrobe so her mom already knew exactly what she wanted all I had to do was wait and pay but it's for my daughter so it was with pleasure so Saturday they come to the house and they build everything the way we want and her mother will be here supervising everything That's yeah. Now we're waiting for the Uber to arrive. So, shadowware.com. This is the cape of the day. I broke all of my cases. Uh, I'm gonna order some new ones and uh, change my collection a bit. A few other countries. I'm tired of having always the Congolese one stuff. I'm gonna maybe wear the Senegal one or. Russian one, who knows, we'll see. Ah, Uber is here. Does this guy have another one with the keys? Yeah. A little bit of allergies today. We're going for a little walk. Get us some breakfast. Then I have some work to do. Mix it. Mix Oops. Yeah, Yes, we almost there. Little Princess Asia. Almost there. I'm just done mixing a beat for an artist called Cadu Pires. So we're gonna release three songs as an EP. I've started I decided now to release with the artist I work with. Three songs three by three. I think it makes more sense in the streaming world because people they just listen and they go to something else so we're gonna give them more and um, see what happens so I hope it's gonna be a good success I like those songs we we'll stop at the ice cream Just eating more cake she can man but yeah you know I'm tired I woke up very early <laughs> yeah, I'm hanging out in our neighborhood. My girls. So don't forget to check the T-shirt of today, which is hmm, what's gonna be the T-shirt of today? Oh yeah, uh, work hard, play hard. There's a lot of things that I want to say in the vlog, and then I always forget. I, I don't know. I just. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna do it after, and then I, I don't think about it anymore. And uh, I, have, I, have a little, I have a note on my iPhone with all the things I wanna talk about in the vlog, and then I just, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting full because I don't go to the subjects, and I cannot just be there and show you what I eat and where I travel, I also wanna talk. So, um, I don't know if I talked about it in, in the vlog already, but it's the idea that to do something new, you have to let go what you had before. It's like you are Tarzan in the jungle. You have the, 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 that rope in your hand and to, to reach the next rope, you have to leave the old one. And a lot of people, the problem they have is this. They can seem to let go this idea that they're gonna lose their position somewhere. They're gonna not be what they were before, but how can you be what you're gonna be next if you are not willing? To let go what you are now in the music business i've been uh, i've been a lot of things i did beats for people at a point i was only making beats for rappers then uh, i started rapping then i made beats for me and other people started doing r&b beats and uh, zook beats and kizomba beats which led me to having a career in the zook music scene and the african afro-caribbean music scene expanding my reach once I got there in 2003, I just started my label. And uh, once I started my label, I start thinking, maybe it's time to let go of what I'm doing. I mean, as an artist. But then the success was still there, so I started something. So I could, the day I wanna let go of what I'm doing, what I'm still doing, because you know, as long as success is here, you still do it a little bit. But the day I wanna really let go, 
being an artist, uh, fame and all these things. A problem that a lot of people have is that they start something, they go to a route, and then they find a comfort zone, and then they stay there in the comfort zone. And then when it's time to move to something else because they, they want to have new options, or uh, maybe what they've been doing is starting to you know slowly go down. They don't have the next thing because they've been so holding so strong to what they have now, what they had yesterday, that they didn't take the time to prepare tomorrow. I tend to instinctively, inst instinctively, yeah, you, you, you see what I mean? Every time I'm doing something, I always try to plan where I'm gonna be in 10 years. And it's very important to have a long-term goal that you can uh, reach through mid-term goals, and then you can then improvise on a day-to-day to reach there. Sometimes you can move to worse things because that's, that's life, but uh, it's important to give yourself options. One day I, I told a, a, an artist that I was, I was working with, you in your 30s, maybe it's time for you to write music for other girls that are in their early 20s so then you can at the same time gracefully move to another step of your career and uh, at the same time make money from them then you can buy a house and then you can you know plan your next move and then maybe you can have like the next four or five girls that are successful maybe they can be under you so while they are making their thunder because they're young you make money you know what she replied to me she replied to me I'm not gonna give force to the competition and that was the most stupid thing I ever heard because uh, the younger people are not the competition. The younger people are going to take your place. It's normal because when you were young, you took the place of somebody. It's, that's how it is in the music business. Uh, like, And it's not a question of when somebody takes your place doesn't mean that you don't have a place anymore. It just means that if we're moving forward, the people who are moving forward to at a point, they are where you were 10 years ago. Normally, 10 years after, you are further down the line. That's how she fucked her career. You come over and start up a conversation with just me And trust me, I'll give it a chance now Take my hand, stop, put Phantom Man on the jukebox And then we started dancing I'm singing like Girl, you know I want your love Your love was handmade Yeah, 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 welcome at Lisbon. Uh, yeah, Benvindo. Uh, uh, Hell yeah. You have no idea. So we were supposed to eat, then go get a drink, and maybe go out. But then we ate, and now we just want to sleep like two fat old people. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do.